Welcome back to my first playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. Today's plans are to finish up Sinner Man, which is one of my top picks for ickiest missions I've played in Cyberpunk so far. We'll also be spending some quality time with some quality people, Pan Am and the Nomad Clan. So welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Cyberpunk. Um, I did play a little bit on my own. Hey everyone, welcome to Info Flash. Nothing really worth noting or too crazy um we did get a call we did get a call from the producer for the bd stream or for the bd um about joshua's last is that his name i for some reason i want to call him joshua graham but that's not right oh this is something that happened that when I was uh, playing by myself, Claire wants us to do something. Claire, I think, wants us to drive in some races. So Claire from the afterlife, for those of you who may not remember. So what she said is that we need to be a driver for illegal street races. And for those of you who have watched this stream, I am not very good at driving. <laughs> so I am like... Oh crap, well this isn't one that I'll be brave enough to do on stream, but it's here, we have it, I may do it, and then maybe I'll like, maybe the way that I'll approach this is I will play it as a last mission some night, maybe tonight, maybe some other night, and then if I fail it and we like totally cannot complete the mission, then I will go back and grind until I learn how to drive and succeed at the mission, maybe. Because I don't think anyone wants to watch me just, like, fail a thousand times. I don't know what happens. I could be assuming way too much about this uh, mission here. So Vasquez called us? Uh, well, what do you know? This corpo... What? Okay, that's very assumptive of us. From the... Like, I don't know. She didn't give me that vibe. Oh, is it because it's, like, a metaphor for she's in bed with corporate America? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, she wants me to come back and give this man a pep talk. Massage his shoulders and whatnot. Normally, I'd tell you to drop it, uh, find something more fun to do, but I don't know. Seems like this Jesus freak could really use your help. I don't know if I want to play this because... It seems like a lot of people were very upset about this mission in general. Not, ve not a lot of people, just one person who was like, I'm out. Also, I wanted to show you my new outfit. Is it good? Do you like it? How do I turn my character? <laughs> so our, our body is 10. Oh, it's 11. <laughs> we have an 11 body. But um, I kind of wish that as you put more points into that, your character got like super fucking beefy. <laughs> I just think that would be, like, funny and cute. I don't know, kind of cool, but we can just imagine. We can imagine that I am a beefcake. Locke, you say, yes, we do. We want to watch Mezo race in this game a thousand times. I will raise you ten thousand times. Oh, my God, I would die. I would be sweating so much. I would be just so embarrassed. I want to show you some of my other outfits, too. Okay, so we have this one. And then we have this one. I really like this shirt. This shirt is banging. I wanted to do, like, more of a military-style outfit that's more like, ooh, I'm, like, really badass, and I can fight people. I don't know. I wanted to do something like that, but I'm having a hard time figuring out the vibe. Let's see, I think there was one more that I'm working on. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. So normally hats suck because I'll show you what they look like. I'll show you what hats look like. They make me have like bangs and stuff that I definitely don't have. Uh Oh, wow, I have more than one cowboy hat. Okay, but I really like this. I really like this jacket. I'll just show you. Do you see? It's a very nice, it's a very nice. 
but I'm trying to find the right shirt to go with it because it's blue, but then all of the clo all of the shirts that I have are red. Yeah, I just, I vibe with this outfit a lot, but it's not done. It's not done. So we are wearing this for now. And I'm also waiting for the perfect glasses to come along. Like all of these are very strange. Well, those are okay, I guess. Wait, the, I, I don't know. They just sit kind of weird. I feel like they changed the shape of my character's head. Sorry, does any, is this what you came here for? Dress up? <laughs> or racing, street racing. I think before I do another main quest, it could be good to just do a couple side jobs. I am scared to do this Sinner Man one because of everything that happened last time in chat. We have, okay. <laughs> I know what this mission is. This I'll Fly Away. Great song. Oh Brother Where Art Thou is the rendition that I am familiar with. Um, so I think this could be a good mission to do tonight. I'm also down to see what this cold, cold mirage is. I don't know. But I don't remember where I got this mission? At the afterlife? Shoot. I don't know. Well, I might do that one too, but I think I'm gonna start with an easy one. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I know the general themes. So uh, let's do that one first and let me um, actually mark it on my map. Here we are with a little help from my friends job updated. Oh shit. Did it just switch my mission? No. What is a little help from my friends? <clears throat> oh, okay. Pan Am called us, I think like right after one of our missions with her. Like she drove off into the sunset and then she immediately called me for this mission. Um, but I haven't done anything with that yet. Hope I'm hoping that we don't get roped into that mission too. I, I kind of want to do other things, but... No, the rest will stay here. Maybe it's fine. V, you're here. What is she doing here? What I forbade the... you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had so... V come and stand right in front of you. You really Annoying. think you can forbid Pan Am oh from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. I no, know everything won't. about her. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Okay. I'm kind of worried that we're not doing the mission that I came here to do now. Um, but I will... What's gotten into you? If you don't want to, you don't need to drop into the middle of this. But we Sorry, could you say help. Saul seems a little That's bit undeniable. stressed there. I just thought that he would be more excited to see me because I saved him. I guess that doesn't really mean anything, though. The past is the past. Uh, I thought the Biotechnica job was a bust. You the Biotechnica what? contracted withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection. Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. Pan Am's outfit is the coolest. That is the outfit that I'm hoping to find. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? Saul so wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. 
If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. Family. He's not stupid. He's just a fucking... Okay. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul. Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. I would fight Saul a thousand the family times. family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. <laughs> stupid. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No. You're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. There are some lines in this game that really just get me. Like, the stupid pool. We have all these crazy insults and we're so not afraid to just... I don't What's know. gotten into you? Yell at somebody and then it's also like... We use this vanilla language sometimes. Okay, I just needed to take a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. God damn it, I thought that we were sending our friend off a off in a burial of sorts. And now I think that we're doing something completely different. Are we? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is that we're doing, okay? It's fine. I'll just go with it. So just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Is it part of the burial? I don't know. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the convoy. This cause place of looks so peace. sick. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Hell yeah, brother. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Okay, nice so just- job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. Yeah, it's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Combing your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Um, I don't know. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul. I know, but you guys? A few years back, <laughs> nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. <laughs> Here's this vanilla language again. What did we say that it was before? I really wish that when I had sat down, I had turned the chair around and Me? like, you know, sat it backwards and said like, so Pen Am's got a beef, but you all, you all know what's up. Am I right, fellow kids? Like, I wish I had done that. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. 
Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Well, shit. I guess we're just doing this. I guess we're just doing this mission now. It's okay. It's, it's also a side job. Um, Obi, you say, You're such a doo-doo head. I know. They really are. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I'm really nervous all of a sudden, though. <laughs> I think I heard a little shake in that voice. Oh, you did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. They know. They but know I, are you my sure hands you are didn't clammy. Any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Oh, Howitzer, if you say that you will meet them later, you can put it off till later. Okay. That's good to know in the future. Um, what do we, what are we doing here? Are we, are we like riding out together or something? I get the sense that maybe this isn't supposed to happen. Um. Oh, maybe it is. Let's there we go. go. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. Oh, good. I thought I was going to say... liked him, actually. It's Johnny Silverhand. Jackie. I'll remember that. I love being Pan Am's passenger princess. This is great. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Okay, I just want to uncheck this mission. Uh, a little help for my friends. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Yurl? Are we ready? What? Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Hmm. Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Dang it, I kind of wish I'd worn my cowboy hat now. <laughs> Seeing that guy. I tried to dress like Pan Am, honestly. She's my fashion inspiration. Oh, here. Let me help you with that. That was quick. I gotta get the door for my lady. Just kidding. <laughs> I can't date her. America, a prophecy. The terror answered. 
I am orc. Wreath. Okay, we've read this before, so I'm not gonna read it. Maybe I didn't get through the whole thing? I'm pretty sure we've read that. The stairs it is, then. Aw, oh, man. I hate exercise. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. Hmm. I guess maybe the lights turned on and I didn't notice. Maybe if it was dark, we would notice. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Huh. Interesting. Okay, here we are. Oops, just let me... Carol! What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? Oblong cards, holes in rows and columns. Ah, punch cards. Would you help me look? Is this like old world tech sure that we don't know about or something? I've never had to use a punch card for anything, but maybe this isn't what I'm envisioning at all. Um, Ural Combinat, locomotive technical specifications. All right. Oh, I can scan this, a filing cabinet. Nothing here. Oh, shoot. Shucks. Welcome okay, aboard. Must be here somewhere. A training manual? Congratulations! You have just joined one of 12 proud corp, bu corp bud locations. With your help, we will rebuild what the war left in rubble. With every bag of cement shipped, with every train car sent out, we are one step closer to reaching our goal. What's more, we're the only branch location with our own train car wash. That's right. You can even use it to clean your own vehicle. Holy shit. That seems like overkill. I'd try it though. Uh, for your comfort and safety, we offer a complete sports and entertainment package, as well as the G Rapid Detox and Relaxation Program. Wow, that's crazy. Detox. No need for drug testing when you can just need tax when you get to work. <laughs> just kidding. Note, for your safety, please wear protective gear at all times while working. Corp Bud is not responsible for improper use of workplace equipment or any adverse health effects that may result thereof, including but not limited to blood poisoning, toxic shock, or any instances of cyberpsychosis due to overuse of the G Rapid program. V, look thoroughly, please. I am looking thoroughly. What, you didn't want to read the manual for... Uh, okay. Let's... It's not a... Doo -doo -doo. What if she finds it before us? It's gonna be so embarrassing. Hmm. Nothing here. Here? Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Oh, here. Hm. Punch card instructions. Each position on the card, punched, unpunched, represents a unit of information, while each column represents one character or symbol. When gently inserting the card into the reader, please remember to do the following. Check for any damaged, punched holes, which may corrupt the reading. Make sure cards are inserted in the proper order. Double check that the card description matches the data encoded on it. Wow, that seems complicated. I thought that they were just used to like, uh, say when you got into work. Nothing here. Taking a look at these scattered documents. Water. Hmm, I can't read this. Uh, closing the factory. Rumor mill. Aw, people leaving. That's sad. I hate it when my coworkers that I really like leave. It makes me want to leave. Let's see. Nomads for the thick-skinned. 
Okay, the matter is simple. Whatever you read or hear about the nomads in the city media doesn't hold an ounce of water. The biggest lie banded around... What? Lie bandied around? Am I reading that right? Is that being a nomad is a quote-unquote job. It is not. Nomadism is a lifestyle, okay? See, if you want to know something about nomads, all you have to do is ask one yourself. Luckily, I already know the questions because I've been asked them a thousand times. So, let's get started, shall we? Why did the nomads organize themselves? Well, why not unite millions of people roaming around the country? Besides, if you know what you're looking for, you'll instantly know which clan a nomad belongs to. Which brings us to our next point. Nomads are divided into nations. Nations are divided into clans. Clans are broken down into families. You'll recognize them from their colors, their jackets, and their decals on their cars and bikes. By the way, nomads take their affiliation seriously, so unless you want a broken jaw, I'd advise you to do the same. Point number two, you'll be eating dirt or worse if you get nomads and ra raffins mixed up. Remember, raffin shiv are not nomads. They're pariahs, outcasts, criminals, who have either exiled from their clan for doing something com truly effed up or just ordinary city criminals on the run. Raffins form packs, not because it's convenient, but because they don't have a choice. Nobody in their right mind would work with them unless they somehow fit into your plans. Mostly they rob and pillage. Oh my goodness, that sounds terrible. Don't ask me where the name Raffin Shiv comes from. <laughs> Is this in the lore? Is this in the tabletop? Like, okay, we just can't have people asking about this part of the lore. I just like the name, okay? There's no reason for it. All I know is apparently it means something real dirty. Uh, number three, nomads take on all kinds of jobs. Everybody has to eat, right? What kinds of jobs they take depends on the clan or family's particular strategy. Some pick crops in agro crop fields. Others deal with corp shipments or protect their convoys. If you want to smuggle something across the border, you go to the nomads. If you need to vanish off your pissed off creditors or shareholders radar, the nomads will take you so far into the boonies, you'll be shitting next to scorpions. Amen. You pay, they do the job, you shake hands, and everyone goes their separate ways. Get it now? If you want more specifics, just grow a pair and talk to a real nomad. Good luck. I think I already looked at this, right? Yes. Oh, threat level high alert? Okay. Good to know. And we continue Not our here. search. Oh my gosh. I ran out of mouse room. How embarrassing. Hmm. Okay, I must have gotten them. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. That's an interesting... Oh, okay, card found. Here, let's get closer to Pan... Ugh, get closer to Pan Am. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? Oh, got it. I remember this thing. <sighs> Here goes nothing. All right, we've it activated worked. the panel. Come look! Got it. I can do it. <gasps> Little engine that could. <laughs> Wait, I want to look at Johnny. I don't want to look out the window. All right. Choo choo, motherfucker. Yes. I wanted to speak with you. Okay. Oh, this way, this way, this way. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish because I asked you to help me, but why are you doing this? Um, I, yeah, I think it's just because we wanted, I think we just wanted to help her. It has nothing to do with Johnny. Because it's important to you. But 
Is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. Okay. I'm glad that we're good friends. That's nice. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Do I... Oop! I'm not a babysitter. <laughs> oh. Okay. So he just said, um, when you see... He, Saul said, when you see her, tell her I need her. Assistance with something? So maybe I should tell her? Like, what if something really bad is happening at camp? Why didn't he just text her? Why did he text me? We could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Uh, should I say the thing about Saul? I just want to... I just want to bring it up, like, just in case. You worried about Saul? Okay, that was nothing, that had nothing to do with what he texted me. We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm, the car could use another once over. Wait. Oh my gosh, I thought something was happening with Johnny, but this is like when time passes. Ugh. <sighs> Stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. I wish you could see, cause like- You're acting spooked. Oh. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war? Head full of new ideas? and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling, thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Kiddos, a man's been playing the song for five hours. Those fingers must be made of steel, too. I was gonna say, I feel like with this sky, you should be able to see satellites or something moving across, or planes or something, but... And I think that would be really cool. Okay. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Should I drink? I don't know. Let's just say to Scorpion. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. Bottoms up. To Scorpion. Oh, there's a cigarette a stuck on the bottom of his bottle. That's funny. Alright, I was expecting Pan Am to chug the beer again. Gonna try and get some sleep. 
Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Uh... Can tell you won't be getting any sleep. Wake me up if anything happens. <laughs> Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? Is she rolling her eyes I'll or... just lie here a while. Okay. <laughs> by her side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Oh my god, I am so corny. I am so of corny. That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small Everyone knows that right? one. Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. What? Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Oh crap. Okay. <laughs> Let's ride, V. All right. Oh no, I'm nervous now. It's okay. Oh, Phoenix, hello. What up, Joom? What up, Joomy? Good to see you. We have to wait while everyone gets in their vehicles. All right, off to All the right. races here. She's moving. Get her up to speed. I cannot believe that we're driving so close together. I would have already run over all five of these. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. V, no coming and hauling. Take out that car. Okay, 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 okay. Take it out. Oh, uh, which one? Oh, here maybe? We're getting close. This is slow. Hell yeah. Okay. It's just shooting at the cargo. What an idiot. Scanner? Oh, I probably could have scanned and uncoupled it. Okay. It's okay. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Probably jammed again. Oh, the turret malfunction. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay. Move that ass, daddy boy. There are so many people. Uh, okay. We'll just start clicking on stuff here. Okay, that's all I can do for now. No, five vehicles. No, it's blocked. We need to Oh no, this is not the weapon that I wanted. I'm caught with my pants down. Come on! Oh my gosh, I can't- I really- I can't see around this brick wall. We got it! We need to rethink! Ah. Hell yeah! Ah. Enemy contact! Oh. Can people die in this mission? I'm so nervous. Approaching target. Mitch, Bob, go! All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Holy nuts. That wasn't so hard. Okay, I should. Okay, I should get back to the vehicle. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. I picked up the blue stuff. The epic objects. Fuck! It worked. <laughs> Of course it did, just as I said it would. Oh, we have the. Oh, okay, this is this is a bug. We've encountered the non-stop horn sounds. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. It's to save and load the game. Real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. If we want to fix that.
I think maybe I'll just wait until we're done with this. It, for me, it's not very loud. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Uh, unless you say Mad Max Convoy for the win. I freaking love Mad Max. Okay. I just lost the Militech channel. The Zoots finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. That was like my comfort Perfect movie for a while. You ask me. It's just easy to watch. Easy watching. What that is. Kadoza, how many Mad Max references have I found so far? Well, I haven't really seen a lot of the older ones. Oh crap, that is pretty loud. I can talk to him if you want. Do I hear any horn? Okay, good. Let's go talk to Saul. Oh crap, he's okay, he's Fuck coming to us. Fuck Pan Am! Boo, I'm such a fucking asshole. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? God Maybe damn. next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! God damn! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Better yet, Mitch, I'll get you two take yours. the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, Lavinia. Then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in <laughs> fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Oh my goodness. Be waiting. Take Point care. at me again. That was... That was cool. He's so cool. Oh, level 35. I think this means that I can start using different... Ah! I should use... What the hell is wrong with me? I wanted to use Skippy tonight um because we should be getting pretty close to like there being interesting dialogue with that character that gun <laughs> all right we don't have any better apparel oh excuse me now that we're in the aldecaldo camp if i'm saying that right now we can play i'll fly away which is what we originally came here to do. But then, um, you know, things got... I like your moves, kid. But you're probably going to say something sassy to me if I say something. <laughs> I like... It's just like... Um, what a freak. <laughs> oh, ouch. This is why I don't talk to kids. They, they always say something rude. It's fine. They're just kids, you know, they're just, they don't mean it. They just mean that you're literally a freak. Darling, I do not know. A little closer now. Me? Okay. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? <gasps> I do! I didn't mean it to sound excited about that. It's just like, I feel like a lot of times we can't relate to people in this game because I was a corpo rat. You asleep or what? 
Mm, I don't have friends. <laughs> wow, so edgy. I say that all the time. It's not edgy. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Name was Jackie. Uh huh. How'd he go? Wow, like that's everyone a goes. In crazy night story. City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay. I'll help. Come on, then. All right. I got you. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah. And? <laughs> We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? I can tell you're a city girl. You want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. A little patience, V. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. Why don't we just take one? Because we need two. Shit. You're about as useful as a data term helpline. You'll see, V. Trust me. All right. You seem like a trustworthy guy. Seriously, where are we going? One of Scorpion's favorite spots. I owe him one, V. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Okay. Okay, am I, I guess I'm driving Scorpion's vehicle. I, I don't really like any of the radio stations. If you guys know of a radio station that's good, let me know. Aw, look at that little car. You hear me? Yep. Oh my gosh, too fast, Mitch. More too driving, fast. Less talking. Oh god. I want the vehicle to make it there in one piece. In the name of Scorpion. Uh, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. We literally just Not saw Not a him. fan of funerals. Mm-hmm. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip. Or for you to slot it in your head. Oh, I hope this place isn't too far. Speaking <laughs> of, where are we going? Didn't no you hear? We don't know. My, what a good little Shut girl Capitani. scout. So trusting, so Shut accommodating. It's for Scorpion. His last wish or something. That good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit the vehicle. Oh my god, okay. That was a close one. I don't know if there is a break We're for vehicles. For the I've been afraid to admit, admit this, but Copy. I have no idea. I just hit S. Almost there now. Okay, copy. <laughs> okay, is this literally a cliff? Okay, because I don't. Again, I don't know what the Here brakes are. are. Okay. Go ahead, kill the engine. Whew. Oh, man. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. Okay, I bet Johnny's back on board now. <laughs> I mean, if that's what Scorpion wanted. He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? All right. Gas can? I can do that. Yeah. Here we go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Okay. 
And you're sure that this'll do it. See the drivers already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two, and he'll puff up like a balloon. Oof. Oh, okay. right. Shall we get this show on the road? Are you absolutely sure this is a good idea? No, V. No, I am not. But it was my best friend's dying wish. So I'll do whatever the fuck I can to make it happen. Wow. With or without you. I like this attitude. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. Okay. If we think about this, these logistics, actually, I, I'm pretty sure that this won't destroy the body via incineration. But it could blow up the body into such small pieces that maybe it's unrecognizable. I don't know. If you guys actually know how, how much heat it takes to cremate a body. But I don't think this is gonna do her. Not that Scorpion knew that. All right. How do I light the fire? I, I see it here. Oh, the gas can. Of course. Of course. She's burning! Quick! Before she blows! <laughs> May the road be kind to you, friend. What the hell? <gasps> Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Wow. All right. Soot and ash. That much remains. Did Johnny see that? That was really so, metal. How about a beer? Um, I don't know if I'm in the mood. <laughs> yeah, sure, what the hell. Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. All right, I picked it up. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Hey, speaking of... <laughs> Where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. He drinks through his cheek. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. He a Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scorpion. You That's old stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, man. Mitch. Why me? Why did you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen. There's a... a few things of his you ought to have. What? Like this little good luck charm. Go on. It's yours. Okay. Does anyone know if this is a reference to something? I don't, I don't know what this figurine is. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. This huge action Listen, figure? I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're welcome. You're all right. You're really all right. I really like Mitch. He's so nice and cool and even-tempered. Which seems rare um, in these parts. Quick enough, not I nor bald nor agile, tangled up in wires like a nest of vipers vile. Was it I who fell or was it done to me? Dissolving, disappearing with you I wished to be. Now tethered, clamoring, and the restless swarm beating in my ears a pale rage, no. 
Into the earth I sleep. My life, the sweet thorn, sticks in my throat. A chill burns brighter on. To the end, what a thought. A huddled husk I tumble for the dawn. The old certainty of youth is felled, and from its gnarled trunk memories fall forth. Hours of our sharp and pressing race, embittered in our power locked embrace. With you I wish to be, and so I go, down the road without end, through woods half dreamt. And the chill bleached delirium of desire fills into trepid tumbling sand, through the fog your shadow sharpening. The storm tangles in me once again, to sway with you like swaying grasses dry. Still the grassy dust will not but rise. Interesting. I wonder why that poem was... Can I... Okay. I wonder why that poem, poem was left. Uh, is this my vehicle now? I want to leave it for Mitch. Maybe I'll call the bike instead. I think... Oh, this is Jackie's bike. We also have Scorpion's bike. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. Here, the knife, Stinger. Small, but incredibly deadly. It belonged to Scorpion, a nomad of the Aldecaldos clan. Very interesting. And then where would the item be that, or the, hmm. Do I see it? Oh, here, this action figure. All right, so it, Looks like it's part of a quest or something, so we can't get rid of it, maybe. The figurine depicts a ninja in black and yellow robes. Looks like some kind of knockoff. All right, so now we have to pick out a new job. People have expressed interest in me trying out this mission from Claire where we drive. I'm down to try it. So we'll drive to the nearest fast travel point and then meet up with Claire from the afterlife. Sound good? Ah! Come on, baby. Oh, hey, Claire. Uh, Claire? Under the rig. I see you, girly. But I also thought that I saw loot. So just one second. Just one moment, please. Hey, what gives? Uh, oh, sorry, Claire. Owner's manual? Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a Thornton. We are very proud to offer our Thornton guarantee for reliability and convenience at an affordable price. Before you embark on your new adventure from behind the wheel of your new Thornton... Please take the time to read the owner's manual. Well, we only get as far as the table of contents, so. Okay, I'm trying to. Gosh, I messed up her whole setup. And then what is this one? Ah! Ah! Oh, what? How did I reach through the window there? Uh, here. Sheet metal and you, your guide to auto body repair. Just like you take care of your own body, so too should you take care of your favorite four-wheeled friend. When should I pull the trigger on making body work repairs? Simple answer, when it's no longer functioning at factory quality, typically as a result of collision damage, corrosion damage, or from firearms. But before you dive straight into repairs, I cannot believe that I'm reading content about auto body repairs, whatever, I wanna do it. You should always first conduct a comprehensive survey of the damage, not only the damage is nature, but also the damaged parts core function in the vehicle as a whole should be thoroughly, who wrote this? This is crazy. Somebody actually wrote, decided that we needed this part in the game. And that is so cool. Remember, always be sure to have the right set of tools handy before you begin with your repairs. And if there's any organic material still present in or on the vehicle, always make sure to clean it thoroughly first. Do yourself a favor and don't make your job more difficult before you've even started. 
But don't forget, quality sheet metal is the most important piece to the car repair puzzle. Follow the link at the end of this manual to check out the shop Martin's Tinware for high-grade materials at unbeatable bargains. That sounds great. Seen worse. And uh, all right, let's talk to Claire. <laughs> nice ride. Hey, Claire. Hell of a machine. Oh, you know your shit, and you've got good taste. Meat beast, my pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want me. What the what the fuck Thanks. is this? Oh, so it's a backpack. This about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. What's the race like? Any special rules? Lack of them, actually. You race in pairs. Driver and gunner. So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel? But this won't be your first time out, will it? Don't worry. Done my fair share of rounds. And your last driver. They quit? In a way, died in a race a year back. Ah, uh, sorry. Literally everybody dies in Night City. You'd never ask. Uh, sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. Okay. Their carrot we're chasing after? First place gets a payout. That happens, we split it 50-50. Sound fair? Got goosebumps already. If I'm driving, why not use my wheels? I think it's got what it takes. This isn't just about speed. It's a gauntlet of twisted steel. Oh, rest easy. I don't drive a soapbox racer. Your car, mine. You'll be on the pedals. You decide. When do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. Need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamp. Top Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. I'm so See nervous. There. <laughs> but there's really nothing I can do. If I suck at driving, I just suck at driving. I can't. All right. Wait a day for Claire to contact you. All right, so we could have started this a uh, long time ago, I guess. All right. Well, I want to get one, at least one more mission in um, today. So we could try this cold mirage. The fact that there's like no details about this makes me feel like it's not going to be enough to get us through the day or a stream. So, oh yes, yes, I should go here first and then back. Perfect. These are excellent navigational tools that we have here in Cyberpunk. One of the suggestions that I've seen online for like new players in Cyberpunk is to get the being able to carry more stuff perk as early on as possible. And I have to say that suggestion just seems like such a bunch of baloney because there are so many opportunities for you to st sell stuff. It's not like other games where you have to haul all your crap around till the end of time. Um, well, or until you find a vendor. And then does the vendor have enough money? There's pretty much always a way to offload your stuff in between missions, so... I don't know. I just I just saw a vendor point and thought of that. Oh, how it's our missions with no descriptions are scary. Makes me feel like something is sus- I know! I'm so suspicious right now. Anyways, I am very suspicious of this mission. Oh, oh fuck a dog doll. One thing I know like I know my own name. You do not poke around strangers' cool boxes. Best case scenario, you find a half-gallon jug of rancid milk. Worst? Motherfucker up a sad mass. That's Raish Bartmoss. We just read! <laughs> Hold the phone. We just read! 
The shard from R Rach? Is that what he said? R. Bart Moss. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. And also, for those of you wondering, we came out here to get Dex's uh, pistol off his body. That's why, and I just happened to see that I could interact with this cooler. I opened it up. This man's body was in here, but we hadn't received the mission yet. So, I don't know. That's interesting that they let you open the cooler up if you want to. The Bart Moss? Data crash rabid Bart Moss? Guy who trashed the first net? Well, it wasn't his uncle. Yeah, yeah, him. I'd recognize that mug anywhere. Wanted posters all over town back in 2020. Public enemy number one, dead or alive. Half the city was on the hunt. Poor bastard. Ended up here as a dead rat in a cool box. Till some circuit blew and he thawed like so much meat. Uh-huh. Yeah, about 20 years back, judging by the stench. Well, stood about as much as I can. Gotta go. Hold up, hold up. Gotta be some electronics in here. First net relics, almost crank-powered. Be a shame just to leave it. What? Even if there that is, sounds so bound gross. to be bunk. Bound to be? Wouldn't be so sure. Only one way to find out. Need to think about it. Said the gonk who missed the shuttle. Come on, look inside. Then <laughs> just take a little peek. Okay, job updated. Cold Mirage. Scan the freezer. Well, well. An SGI Tech Elisla. Best cyber deck in its class. See? Worth getting a little rod on your hands sometimes. Hey, Disgusting. Just thinking. Cat at the afterlife. Goes by Nix. Looked like somebody who'd know legacy tech. Chat him up. See what happens. Could end up pulling something from it. Okay, man. Oh, okay. We just picked it up. I thought that they would, like, draw it out a little bit more and have us actually dip our hand into the... Pool there. Oh crap, Johnny's gone. Now I'm scared. <laughs> this place is creepy. <laughs> okay, go to Nyx at the afterlife. Ah, Pan Am is also messaging us. Let's take a look. Pan Am says, Hey V, thanks again for having my back. Lately I feel like I'm just ranting and raging. So I just wanted to make sure you know I appreciate you or what you did for me. Hmm, shit, that came out way too formal. You know what I mean. I'll say, school! <laughs> and you know it's cool because I... <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never used that abbreviation before. Oh my god, I'm so corny. Uh... Oh, I said, don't worry, how's the... P Panzer shaping up? Mitch, Bob, and Carol are still putting the pieces together. Looks like they're having fun. Cassidy providing moral support. I'll be in touch soon. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Did I call my vehicle? I think so. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Jackie, incarnate. Let's turn this sucker around. And, oh, I'm driving to... I just need to drive to this little map quest out here. And then we will go back to the afterlife. And... Uh, I think we might be working with that kind of sketchy dude in the basement. I think that's who Johnny said. I'm not sure. We'll see, I guess. We shall see. Afterlife, I'm coming for yous. Okay. Here we are. Afterlife. Our old stamping ground. Hello! Emmerich? Is that his name? It is! It is the sketchy guy in the- Oh, hey Claire. 
He's not technically in the basement. He's in this area here. Uh, what's it like working with Rogue? What's it like working for Rogue? I think we might have already asked him this. It's fine. That's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. That was why I even have that option to talk to him. Hmm. Know you from somewhere. Sorry. You've got the wrong guy. Wait. Ooh. The negotiations between Arasaka and N54, that... that cyber-psycho scandal in the Defense Department. You used to work for Arasaka. You were behind the leak, weren't you? Thought you got flatlined, and yet... here you are at the afterlife. He's a clone. A fellow ex-monochromer, I see. Only thing I miss is the clean air. Hmm... Okay, let's say this. Listen, from one netrunner to another. Got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bart Moss era. Rach Bart Moss. The Bart Moss. Tell me you're not fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. Heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? Pfft, who knows. But I was able to dig up a few classic Bart Moss relics. Here, let me show you. Ooh. So I have a Contagion uh, quick hack right now, but I don't think it's epic level. This weapon glitch have but also not sure that it's epic level i'll buy it it's fine i think uh one second before i tell him that i found bart moss's stuff i just want to see if there's anything that i can oh poetry that's amazing they actually have a section for poetry cyber psycho okay i i wanted to see if i had a shard that I could crack. Right? Shards, tarot messages. Okay. Because the last time we had to deliver a shard to him and I needed to crack it beforehand and I wasn't sure if we fa picked up a shard here or something else. Oops, sorry I spit. Hey, Nix. Listen, found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turin's tapes. Haha, <laughs> funny. Being serious. Have a look-see. Let me drop Ooh, this shit on ya. Shits. God damn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? Mm. Should I tell him? I think we can tell him. Found it outside town, in a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man. When looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile, while that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Text coming apart. Humidity damaged. Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. I, I want him to crack it open. No risk, no reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter, just ginger-like. Okay. Shit, I hope I'm not making a mistake. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. What? Pop turds? Now, let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dict attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? 
Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bart Ma should have done better. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't you catch it, Ratchet. What? Ideas, V. Fast and stat. Couple uh. of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done, stick. Oh. Okay. What do we got here? Saw what we got. A brain broiler. You absolutely sure you want to jack in? Shh. Um. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a scary sound. Um, I regret everything. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. You breathing? Apparently. Though it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just... What the hell happened? You started convulsing, lights went out, outlets started spitting sparks. So, I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. I mean to say, you reached Bob Ma's deck? Lowly you? Oof. Okay, um... Damn straight. I'm the best net runner in town, after all. Out it, kid. But... Maybe someday. All right, let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Ah, uh, shame, kinda. Well, I guess I can delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well... Seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them. But they should be useful nonetheless. Oh, thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Nex. You gonna get it together? Be alright? Or you need help? No, no. Be just fine. Couple of painkillers washed down oh, with whiskey. Oh my goodness. And I'll be a new man. Okay, job completed. Wonderful, sort of. So I can try and pull more out of it at some point. New shard, blaming Bart Moss. By Bugbear. When I imagine what the net was like before Bart Moss, I see thousands of potential threats and thousands of opportunities. Of course, the whole system was unstable. Corporal runners pulling one way, post-war rogue AIs pulling the other. Financial markets tanked, virus mutations spiraled in uncontrollable ways, and runners got cooked in their living rooms. Holy shit. Bart Moss saw the net as a grenade waiting for the pin to get pulled, and that's exactly what he did. F it, right? Let the world burn. Bart Moss F'd the system, but F'd all of us right along with it. Oh, just look at it now. Corps are on top as usual. The black wall, which was supposed to protect us after the net's crash, is just another control tool in Netwatch's arsenal. Before Bart Moss, the net was an untamed jungle. If you could navigate it, you had a chance to survive. You were free. After Bart Moss, the net's like an airport security check. Every step you take, Netwatch is checking your papers and performing a thorough cavity search, <laughs> but all for your own good. Of course. Okay. Well, bummer. I feel like we were supposed to maybe have gotten more out of that. Maybe we'll be called back another time to investigate more. The shadows of the me mega buildings. Well, let's see here. I guess it wouldn't hurt to do like one more mission. <laughs> I'm really nervous to do this one with Vasquez. Um, but it's fine. We can we can do it. I I understand that it's gritty, 
I understand that it's um, terrifying to me, but we can do it and we'll play it however however we want when we get to the when we get down to it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can you tell I'm getting nervous? Oh shit. Oh shit. Rachel's been waiting for you. That's crazy. I saw this. I walked by this um, protest and I was like, oh, what's going on here? Some people didn't like the idea of recording somebody's agony road. Bunch of killjoys, that's all. Billions are gonna watch the brain dance. What the? Studio's not afraid of a scandal? Getting caught up in it? You kidding? Scandal's what they live for. I'd be out there too if I could be. But I got a family to look after, and the job's what it oh, is. Oh, okay, he doesn't agree with it, but... What's going on? Joshua all right? Don't fucking know, don't fucking care. Get in there. Where do I go? Straight down this street, building with the officer out front. Thanks. This mission just makes me so uncomfortable. I... I sort of get it. Oh, for those of you who maybe weren't here, I don't know if I should recap the mission at all, but I'll just read it really quick. So, well, what do you know? This corp from the Crucifixion BD, okay? That's what's up. <laughs> Wants you to come back to give her star a pep talk. This is the star here. Message his, oh, massage his fucking shoulders and message his fucking shoulders. Normally, I'd tell you to drop it, find something more fun to do, but I don't know. Seems like this Jesus freak could really use your help. So Johnny's really into this mission too, which is also why I have misgivings about it. And how it's, it's intentionally uncomfortable. It's so uncomfy. They did a good job making it uncomfy. They certainly did. Mm. Thought you looked more, I don't know, professional. Nothing's missing. Oh. Whatever. Get in. Okay, like, did you want me to put a suit on? Don't worry, Olga, we'll fix this. I don't know Trust what you me. wear to a crucifixion. We'll be on schedule. Helps on the way. Finally. We're late. Stevenson's been asking for you all day. He's in his dressing room. Go talk to him. Good to see you too, corporate whore. <laughs> I don't think that's what they called her. Okay. Wanted to see me? I wanted you by my side when my soul departs this world. I have no friends. No family. Only strangers as my company. Still a set on scrolling this brain dance. I am more determined than ever. Should I say don't do it? This is so insane. Got pure intentions, but this isn't the way to act on them. V? Got pure intentions, I know. But you're putting him to waste doing this. Something like this? It's just not worth you dying for it. It's too late now. There's, there's no going back. What? I, I am so afraid. Will you pray with me? A prayer of your choice. My choice? I don't pray, dude. You think V prays? Clasp hands. You go ahead and pray. I'll be right here. Wow, this is so crazy because I don't like this man. He's very upsetting and self-centered. But I also feel like it sort of doesn't matter. Oh, shit. What kind of... Like, he's gonna do this. So I'm... I don't know. Don't wanna pray. But I'll be right here by your side. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit. That my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit. That my work, too, may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. 
Guard me then, oh Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Okay, this is making Amen. it worse. This is making it a lot worse. Time to start. Let's go. I truly hope Zuleika is praying for me now. Will you stay with me? To the end, I would like <laughs> oh you to wield the hammer. <laughs> Nail me to the cross. Oh my gosh. <coughs> That's so gross. I can't do that. Wasting time here. Um, oh my goodness. I, I don't know. I don't think that I can do this. This is really gross. YOLO? What the? I won't do it. Nuh -uh. No way. Then please, just stay by my side. All right. Phew. Let's do this. All right, here I go. I'm gonna sit down. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. What the fuck? <laughs> <sighs> Who is the stage hand? It's crazy. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Oh gosh, this is gross. Oh man, if this was, oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm not gonna watch. I'm closing my eyes. This is weird, I don't like this. Gosh. Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Oh, what the hell? Johnny's there. Father, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. I'm surprised nobody was barfing. Amen. Oh my gosh, this feels so gross. Whoa, Kay. Oh no. Closer, really. Probably my hardest gig, that, but I got through it. What now? Going home, where I'll sleep for two days straight. Be in touch about your compensation soon. Wow, you are one crazy chick, Rachel. You shouldn't release the BD. World shouldn't see it. That's not up to you, that's not up to me. I'll call you. 
I I said that, but I I don't actually agree with that. Um. I feel like now that it's made, Rachel's right. It's not up to me or her. That was his wish. And by God. Okay, I just got in the shot. Oh, God. Oh, Dodgers, you nailed him. Figured I respect his final wishes as he went out. To be honest, I, I don't respect his wishes. I think that this is really this whole thing. It's just a lot of people willing to do something, something real stinky, something real nasty. And I have a decision in that. I, I don't have to be a part of that. I don't have to be. So my opinion of this man just throughout our time with him was that he was quite self-centered and his actions weren't so much about trying to change anything. Like I true, I believe that he believed other people would be changed by this. And I think that he's right that some people will be changed by this. But I think that it's also true that this was mostly a self-serving, a, hor a horrible man doing something to prop up himself. He couldn't just be a prisoner to die in the system. He um, he needed something more. Like, I, I get it, kind of, but also he was really weird. For those who, of you who weren't with us for the first parts of the mission, the way that he spoke and things, it was just quite, I don't know. He I felt like he could have... What I was trying to tell him earlier was, if you really have this mission to reform people, there's a lot that you can do without this to help reform society. Especially if you've been in the system, I feel like you have an advantage to, when talking with people who have, uh, whereas other squares don't have that edge uh, to talk with people and change people's minds. Uh, Howard, sir, you say he was not really a good guy, but also I was like, maybe I should just do what he wants. I know it's really a tough choice. They certainly did a good job in making this mission quite painful. I get that it's just pixels, but I did have a visceral <laughs> reaction to this. It was quite disturbing. And pres he's selfish for wanting to do it publicly. Oh, well, what was selfish about it was I did feel like he was sort of, um, I don't know, like trying to get the power to forgive himself. Like that's how this whole mission kind of started is it seemed like he was trying to do a thing where he would go to the family, ask for their forgiveness. They would forgive him and then he could feel like this righteous person uh, even as he went to the cross too. And then when he wasn't given that, then that really messed with him. And yeah, I, I just didn't really like that, that he sort of expected the guy he killed their their mom to to just be like yeah okay you're right i forgive you good luck with your bd like it makes perfect sense that that wouldn't be what happens oh you were up here watching this is crazy oh and there's like things up here too okay i'm gonna go upstairs maybe maybe there's an exit thanks for watching if you had fun and want to see me again, consider subscribing or joining one of my other social medias like Twitch, Discord, or Twitter. Until next time, Choom.